everybody's starting in the same spot. We're asking everybody that question. The first 10 feet can make or break you, it looks like. you got to get it moving the first 10, 15 foot, or you're not going to carry it down the end down this side. How many, how many fellows behind you can make a full pull? There's already three of you out of here with a full pull. I'd say probably about all four of them. I think there's four left. I, everyone's got a chance to take it out. Well, you heard it from a guy that just took it all the way. He thinks the remaining field can also make full pulls. We'll find out when we come back with TNT Motorsports and more of Power Tracks. And welcome back to Power Tracks. Richard Leake along with Army Armstrong in Hampton, Virginia. Our next driver in this modified 4x4 field is Bob Smith, Robert Smith, out of Winchester, Virginia. He drives the Three Bears, and he's not only a former national champion Army, his hobbies include skydiving, scuba diving, jet boat racing, hang gliding. This guy loves danger. No, he's just kind of a laid-back guy. But one thing I like about him, he involves his family in all this. When he's not driving this truck, normally his son will step in and do the driving. So the father and son concept there. Let's see what's going to happen. Three Bears Chevrolet trying to get out. Not going to do it. He gets a distance of 184.4. Four zero. That'll put him in the uh, bat uh, number seven right now, Arm. Richard, it's amazing how tight they're getting around the 180 out mark. That ten, last 10 feet is tough. Well, here comes Bob Minnick out of Winchester, Virginia. It is another Chevrolet. It's an El Camino. It's called Small Change. It's got a 615 cubic inch Chevy engine. Well, they may call it Small Change. You run that big an engine. You got some big bucks tied up in it. We don't get to see this truck that often. A good looking rig, the El Camino body style, a crowd favorite. Let's see how he's gonna run. Now well, he is the defending Virginia State's point champion, so he knows what he's doing out there. Engine sounds good. Ground speed looks to be real decent for him, Richard. Now comes the brute power. Whoa, oh, he was close, so 186. 0.99. All of these pullers tonight, Army, as you said, getting well over that 180 uh, to 185 mark. Boy, they're ganging up in that last 10 feet. And coming out next is one of my favorites. Maybe it's because I love the movie, which he named his truck after, or maybe I just like watching him pull. It's Carl Staples' Risky Business Chevrolet out of Moyoc, North Carolina. Well, Carl has won championships before. He travels on the national tour with us. He's trying to get through this winter season. He's going to update a lot of equipment when we go for the summer points. But right now, as he sticks his head out the window, that's kind of a unique situation. He learned to drive that way. The reason they stick their head out the window is to make sure the left front wheel stays straight. Risky business, trying to jump in the middle of a pole. Oh, wow. He had a shot going, Army. What happened? I have no idea. It broke quick. No indication of problems at all. We'll check it out, Richard. Carl Staples risky business as the fans look on, wondering themselves what the heck happened. Had a great run going, then all of a sudden it just dies on him. Do you have any idea when something like that's going to break? The horsepower was there. It was making good traction, and all of a sudden, bam. Can you feel that inside the truck? No, I never felt it, Army. I was pretty sure I was going to make a full pull, and it, uh, all of a sudden it just quit. What happens to the engine in a situation like that? Does the engine go upstairs enough to hurt it? Well, I don't like to turn this motor, but about 7,200, and I'm looking at the pack, and it turned about 8,200, so that I could have hurt the motor a little bit. Well, I'll tell you, I agree with Carl Staples, and I guess you do also, Army. I thought for sure he had a full full pull going there. Yeah, he, he definitely had a great run going, but it's amazing. It's almost like throwing a cherry bomb in a trash can and putting the lid on. When it went, it just went. Well, coming out next is another defending state champion, and he's before his hometown crowd here. It's Thomas Parnell. He is driving the crowd pleaser Chevrolet. You know, as we go all over the country, Carnell's got to be one of the crowd flavor favorites. That's where the name came from, crowd pleaser. No, I tell you, it's Boy, you hate to see this. This guy runs so strong, comes to his own home state, not the run he wanted. He, he may have missed the gear on that truck. Normally, he screams those big Chevrolet engines. Talking about screaming, I guess you could tell then from the start being trackside, he just didn't have it tonight. Yeah, down here, you can tell he just, normally, it's almost deafening when he runs that truck. Uh, isn't she a sweet one? Boy, I, that's one thing I like, Army, about traveling the country. Some of the great kids we meet on this circuit. Well, that's what it's all about. They're enjoying truck pulling. We're tickled to death to have them here. As the next puller goes out, another Virginia puller coming out now, Richard. It sure is. That's Jimmy Brizendine. He is driving the Footloose Chevrolet. Now, it only has a 588 cubic inch engine. And so far, except for Aaron Mobley, the smaller engines haven't done as well. Well, Brizendine's working the left side of the track now. The track's starting to work out, and the groove will develop. It's going to the left side. Brizendine. Good run. 
We're not going to be in a ballpark. Again, on the other side of 180, that last 10 feet is no man's land tonight, Richard. 181.26 for Jimmy Brinsendine. And when we come back, it is pull-off time. Two Chevrolets against one Ford on power tracks. Well, TNT Motorsports ready to get this three-truck pull-off going, Army. We've got two Chevrolets and one Ford, and go, go, the grill and the official starter there. Well, you know, a moment ago, you are talking about the, the kids we run into across the country. That's one of the reasons they really enjoy our show. All the kids love go, go, and he loves them. But right now, the business at hand, what the sport's all about, a pull-off. Well, we're going to have Mad Dog as our first pull-off truck, but right now, let's go to our question of the week. This question of the week about the Red Man TNT All-American Pulling Series comes to us from Sid Connington of Chenango Forks, New York. And Sid wants to know how the hitches are constructed on the pulling vehicles. Sid, in most classes of pulling vehicles, the hitch must be made out of 7 8 or 1 inch solid steel. Now, the height of the hitch depends upon the pulling class. For instance, mini rods are about 13 inches high. The modified tractor is about 20 inches. Four-wheel drive vehicles, 26 inches. And in this case, a two-wheel drive vehicle, it's 30 inches. Now, the higher the height of the hitch, the more leverage you get in the pull. Now, as well as this primary hitch, there's also a secondary hitch. This is called a safety hitch, and it's used in case the primary hitch should ever break. And if you have a question of the week about the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series, send it to us at TNT Motorsports, 5515 Poplar Park Boulevard, Louisville, Kentucky, 40228. And if we use your question on a future television broadcast, we'll send you free a TNT Motorsports hat. By the way, Army, I want to take this opportunity to thank the many thousands that have sent in letters uh, for the question of the week. Uh, some great questions. I wish we could use them all. Yeah, I tell you what, we do appreciate it. Keep writing those cards and letters because that lets us know what you find interesting in the sport. Speaking of interesting, Richard, look who's not coming back. Greg Cook, he made a full pull in that wild blue Chevrolet, but it's like you said, he uh, let go of a cylinder, and he's out of the pull-off now. Well, Richard, this sets up a unique situation. Ford and Chevrolet, the old-time battle, but Super Stock Chevrolet, 370 cubic inch, he's going to take the first shot, then the Ford's got to go after him. Listen to the RPM. Oh, he left the start line perfect, Richard. Ground speed starts to come in for him. The Chevrolet people are on their feet. Aaron Mobley's Mad Dog's making a beautiful run. 159.30, he nailed it, Army. Yeah, but now it's up to the Ford, Richard. So the David and Goliath story is about to come to an end. Here comes Goliath. It is uh, Roger Crawford and the Bandit. Meanwhile, you've got Aaron Mobley down there. What does he think Roger's got to do, Army? If he hooks it up, he's got the horsepower on me. That's the only thing I've got to, that I can hook my truck up for. But if he hooks it up early, I'm a loss. I'll tell you, just from listening to Aaron Mobley, I'm kind of rooting for him to win this thing. Nothing against Ford or Roger Crawford or his wife, Deborah, who I saw down there cheering her husband on the sidelines. Here comes Crawford and the Ford Bandit chasing that little bitty super stock Chevy. Action speak louder than words, and tonight, Chevrolet takes the win with a 1-5-9. The Ford goes a 1-5-3, a major upset, Richard Lee. An upset because it was a little super stock 4x4 that came in here and knocked off the big old modified 4x4s. Your winner, Aaron Mobley and a Chevrolet over the Ford of Roger Crawford. Like we said, if you believe in Cinderella stories, there's one going on tonight. Congratulations. It looked like you're going to take his win out of here. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's something I've looked forward for years, and it's just something I can't explain. There's always been a question as to whether or not super stock trucks can run with the modified trucks. I don't think it's going to be a question anymore. Well, um, when I came here, it looked like a good track, and I didn't think I could do it. So I geared my truck down and brought her out hard, and it worked. What a great ending to the show tonight here in Hampton, Virginia, as we run down the top five, Terry Davis and Bob Minnick. Third place went to Greg Cook as he broke up before the pull-off. Roger Crawford's Ford was second, and Aaron Mobley, the little super stock Chevrolet, won it tonight. For Army Armstrong, I'm Richard Lake. We'll see you again on the tracks across America. Join us next time for Power Tracks, the most powerful sport on earth. Brought to you by TNT Motorsports, the nation's leader in pulling and monster truck racing. Turning the power on.